Hi, welcome to another Power Blast podcast. So what's this hokey meditation stuff all about anyway? Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Perry Tinsley here, creator of the Power Blast podcast, owner of PutYourselfFirst.com and founder of Team Power Blast, also an author of My Fit Start. You can get that free ebook and download it at MyFitStart.com. You know, meditation is kind of uh, come in an evolution for me for for um, the past couple of years. Uh, I, what is this hokey stuff when people are talking about meditation? And so I, I conjure up this uh, person sitting on top of a, a mountain or a hill <laughs> in a total zen-like state, and that just seemed like a lot of work. And I'm like, oh, what's that all, all about? But I do have a lot of uh, people that I know that meditate, that swear by it, and lots of cool things have happened because of it. And you know. After I had, uh, after I had gotten some results with the fitness program, and after uh, losing my wife in a car crash, and my wife or my uh, um, my life being kind of turned in a whirlwind sort of thing, um, and just kind of, kind of seeing life a little bit differently, and life kind of treating me differently. I started opening the doors to things that seemed a little hokey to me or seemed a little uncomfortable. I know even the fitness program that I initially started, that seemed hokey to me. I'm like, gosh, it's got these little resistance band things. Now they're like a commonplace thing, but I kind of thought they were hokey and thought, oh my gosh, it's kind of awkward. Will they really work? So the same thing with med with meditation. I'm not an expert on it by any means, but I'm going to share with you just just some things that I've learned and continue to grow on and improve on as a result of of doing that. Now, I think it's really easy to overcomplicate what is all involved in med meditation. You can, there's I'm sure there's like tons of books out there and video resources and courses, etc., that can really take you to amazing places, um, it's it just kind of turning off the mind, if you will. I'm like, what does that really mean? Turning off the mind? I'm always thinking about something, and you know, tapping into a, just kind of a different frequency, a different energy, kind of like a radio station, right? You know, you don't see the the energy waves going around, but yet somehow the music uh, goes from one place into your car or whatever. So that's the way I kind of look at it, is like a little radio station type of type of thing, and just tapping into stuff so quieting the mind you know I don't know that my mind ever really turns off into a quiet state but I have been learning a few skills to and uh, to to do some meditation I and, and one thing I've kind of learned it's kind of like doing P90X or any other exercise program the mind and, and med when it comes to meditation is kind of like a muscle you've got to work it and you've got to exercise it. It's developing yourself with some empowering thoughts. And I'm gonna share some resources here that I've used that kind of helped ease into the transition of meditation to make it not seem so hokey, to not try and figure it out, because I'm still trying to figure it out myself of what, what it means. But I'm gonna tell you what, when I do this, I, I, I really, I strive to make sure that I'm, I'm working toward just a feel good experience, just something to make me happy, just to know and to believe and trust that things will happen, but not get bogged down, down into how are those details going to happen, how, you know, to strategize this, just to know that when the time comes, things will reveal themselves in the way they're supposed to 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 for helping me reach some sort of goal and dream I, I i can't believe i'm sitting back here in this amazing house in boise um and you know when, when i had uh really meditated on you know wanting to get back into the dating scene again you know and and to actually be able to travel at will who would have guessed that i would have not only gone on dates but married this amazing lady who lives in boise in an awesome house and works for an airline <laughs> and so you know you don't worry about the how just things can can happen that way so um 
and I've got a lot more, lot more stories on there, but I want to keep this, sh this, this short. But when it comes to meditation, you know, I've, I've gone through and downloaded some apps on, uh, gone through on my phone and downloaded some apps that can kind of give you some meditative music or whatever. Um, if you go on YouTube, uh, if you search for The Honest Guys, they've got little 10 minute meditations with different things they can do. And it's just kind of a practice sort of thing. Sometimes you're listening to it, it might seem a little hokey, but you know, the, the more you do it, the better, better you get. Um, I've even purchased some, uh, I went into, uh, I think it's called brainev.com, ev.com, brainev. Um, I'll post a little link uh, here or you can message me. And that uses some brainwave technology or within the audio that they use, the audio tracks that really kind of take your, your uh, brain into more of a deeper state, not totally sleeping, but a different kind of, uh, you kind of go a little bit deeper in the way you're, you're you're thinking or not thinking, I guess, is the way it is. But I, I try to just go through like four phases. There's one, you know, just getting some breathing in, feeling like I'm thriving and, and just energizing the body with breath. I know a lot of times we just tend to breathe very shallowly. And so I do that and, and then I, I get into more of a, a, grat a state of gratitude and then start to think of some goals and dreams I'd like to accomplish. Not how I'm going to do it, but just some things that, uh, and not a to-do list for the day, just where I want my life to go, where I want to see Hillary and I go. We talk about those goals and dreams all the time too, and you can me meditate on that. And then, you know, toward the end there, allowing, uh, allowing that to come and just believing that it's going to happen. So I, I go through this and um, you know, I, I've used some of the audio tracks. I've even got like a, just, just sometimes I'll just put on that little app on my phone. I think it's called Relax Melodies is the name of the app. And I'll put on the background of some Zen type of music that is, it's almost on a loop, but I'll take my mind in, and just sit there in quiet. 10 minutes, you know, sometimes 20. As a matter of fact, I, I thought this was kind of funny. I was in my little journal today, um, read a little quote that was in there. It said, you know, you should sit in meditation for 20 minutes a day. Unless you're too busy, then you should sit for an hour. That's big because it can take away a lot of the life busyness and a lot of the, the chaos that's going and you can actually have a lot of those things answered and revealed to you without worry through the practice of meditation. But once again, I'm not, an, I'm not super experienced with it, but something that I, I, I strive to do and improve on each day. I strive for 20 minutes a day, but most of the time it's like around 10, 15, but that's what I'm doing. But I just wanted to share that with you about meditation. If you want some of the resources that, that I have done before, just message me, reach out, and uh, uh, you know, if I remember, I'll post them in the little show notes here. But anyway, that's it. I mean, if there's some big things that you want to do with you know goals and dreams with your life, or your health and fitness, or um, just to you know relationships, whatever, this can be a big piece of that puzzle for you and ha making that happen. So anyway, I so appreciate you for subscribing, for sticking through this long podcast today. But you, you're totally awesome. I wanted to share all that with you and. Get on iTunes. Give it a five-star rating for the Power Blast podcast so we can reach more people. I so appreciate you. Remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week.